been there. You're running late, you're cooking a meal, your child's hungry. What's wrong? And you serve it up to your little one. It's a bit hot. And then... So, Lucy, what is the five-second rule? The five-second rule is if they drop their food, and I think you've got about five seconds to sort of dust it off, give it a blow and give it back to them before it's got any germs on it. Stop. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to test the five-second rule. going to put this five second rule to the test. Okay, so what we're going to do is we take pizza, apple and toast, we're going to drop them on different surfaces and see what different types of bugs we can actually detect. So the pizza was dropped on a kitchen floor. We dropped the apple in the street and the toast, right side down of course, on a carpet, all for five seconds. So back in the lab we've got our three samples ready to put them under the microscope. <laughs> What we do is we take the specimen, put it, imprint it on the culture plate, remove it, put it back in the safe, and then incubate that overnight. Yeah, I'd be absolutely fascinated to know if there was any science behind it, because it's, it's sort of something I think every parent does every, every day. And he's always throwing stuff on the floor, so I'd love to know what the results are. So, Ron, here we are in the lab, a few days on. Tell me what you found. OK. Well, this is the pizza we dropped on the floor. It's covered in bacteria, and uh, some of them are fecal bacteria, some of them are not, and I certainly wouldn't eat it. So the next one we tried was the apple on the street okay. floor. Nice fresh fruit, no real sticky surface, but still picks up lots of bacteria. Ooh, yeah. so definitely wouldn't risk eating that wouldn't either. Wouldn't eat that either. Finally, we tried a piece of bread. That looks like it's the worst one. Yeah, absolutely. The butter helped pick up lots of bacteria, and I certainly wouldn't eat that, would you? Definitely not. So the moral of the story is, if you drop it... Chuck it. And how about this one? This is the one that proves your theory? It is. This is... Uh, Zero seconds. So it doesn't matter how quickly you pick it up, it's no. still going to be contaminated. Absolutely. So, Lucy, we have the scientific findings, and you'll be interested to know that the five-second rule is actually the no-second rule, that if it's on a contaminated surface, it will pick up germs. Yeah, surprise, but then again, not that surprise. I guess it depends. You apply a bit of common sense, I suppose. If you know you're at home and your floor's clean, then you probably get away with it. Whereas if you were somewhere else, you know, somewhere public place you didn't know, then probably best to throw the food away. Mama.